Yo ho, it's Hippie Joe. I'm gonna show you something that I love to do. This is very appealing work to me. Peeling logs, I love peeling logs. This is called a draw knife. This is a very small draw knife. These, these are not really logs, these are poles. But this draw knife is really sharp. It gets underneath here and it just peels this bark right away. If I can get underneath it, it comes up in these long strips. I don't know if you can look over here. Bark actually has quite a few layers. This, you have the outer brown bark, which is the protection, but then we have this more pinkish bark over here. That's actually the only thing that's living on the tree is this inner bark. I think they call them a comium or something like that. And then you take that off and you're down to pure wood. And this is all the dead cells from that original bark. And that's what you got. This is good, good fur pole. I, lo I love doing this. It's just very therapeutic. I feel like I'm rowing a boat. Stroke, stroke. So you can see that, I mean, that's great. Look at all this. I mean, we've been doing it here for a while. <laughs> we've got quite the, quite the mound of bark going here. I want to put on another log just so you can see real quick some different, this, is, this log is like the easiest thing to peel because it's still wet. But I'm going to put another one up here just to show as it hardens gets a little harder what we have here these fur even after they're even after they're um, dry it still comes off pretty easy I used to peel logs for log home company and they were really logs they weren't poles but uh, there you go. sometimes those we had lodge pole and large the, that under that layer underneath there, it's kind of sugary. It just turns. Put this on here. And it just kind of turns the glue and makes the bark really hard to get off. Let me show you here how this is. Now this is dead bark. It even sounds different. It's more sounds more like you can hear the peeling. Let's see. This a lot of times I have to do these shorter strokes because it takes two or three times get that brown that's essentially what we're trying to get off here because this will rot really quickly and once that starts rotting the rest of the pole starts to rot so by me doing this it takes away that first step and once this pulls in the ground then it will it will take a lot longer to to rot so I like doing this I'll be doing this all night see that pile over there that's about two-thirds of what I need and I'm gonna just continue doing it I'll probably be out here doing it when the moon's still shining all right we'll see how long it how long I last all righty here it is it's midnight the moon is full we're peeling logs no gas People power. We're loving life here at Tie Dye Farms. Good night.